President Trump is recognizing Venezuelan opposition leader Juan Guaido as that country's new president. The move comes after hundreds of thousands protested today against the old regime and Nicolas Maduro. From Venezuela to Miami to here in Gainesville, people are protesting Nicolas Maduro's second term as president of Venezuela. When the country doesn't provide you with uh, good education, health, and food, that's when the problem comes. Dozens of countries, including the United States and Canada, have declared Maduro's re-election illegitimate. As tensions increase, opposition leader Juan Guaido declared himself interim president this afternoon. President Trump tweeted shortly after, saying the citizens of Venezuela have suffered too long at the hands of the illegitimate Maduro regime and that he is officially recognizing Guaido as the interim president of Venezuela. Senator Marco Rubio, Senator Rick Scott and Governor Ron DeSantis met with Trump yesterday to discuss the protests in Venezuela. Today, all three chimed in on Guaido. DeSantis said he's, quote, won the support of the people of Venezuela and mine as well. Scott said Maduro's time is up and that Venezuela has a new legitimate president. And Rubio says he's working to get new diplomats from the new administration in place. Though Guaido has declared himself interim president, he still needs to be backed by the Venezuelan military. If he's not, the U.S. and international community would have to decide whether to get involved. We're not considering anything, but all options are on the table. Does that mean you're considering those? We're just all options, always, all options are on the table. And after the U.S. and Canada chose sides, the initial reaction from Mexico and Bolivia was still pro-Maduro. But Brazil, Peru, Argentina, Colombia, Paraguay and Chile have all declared their support for Guaido.